Firebrand, a spec that doesn't need any introduction. It used to be so overpowered that it did not have any competition when it came to providing supporting groups. Now it is a bit more balanced and other classes are not kicked out of groups because of it. Firebrand can do all three roles easily with a pure DPS build, a heal quickness support build and the one that we are going to talk about, quickness DPS build. Before moving on to the build, keep in mind that the build cost is somewhere in the middle and if you do not have end of dragons, you can use vipers instead of ritualist and change the rings to celestial to compensate for the lacking concentration. I'm using full ritualist armor as it has vitality too and it can help in some cases with runes of the firebrand, weapons are all vipers with sigil of smoldering and bursting, the scepter in the secondary set has a sigil of smoldering as well. And finally the trinkets are all vipers too. With the point mentioned earlier, if you do not have ritualist, you can switch the rings to compensate for the missing concentration. Let's take a look at the build now. I'm using virtues with master of consecrations, glacial heart and permeating wrath. Then we have radiance with right hand strength. Radiant Fire, which is never changed on a Condi build, and Amplified Wrath. Firebrand with Liberator's Vow, but you can switch this to Archivist of Whispers for open world or story content. Weighted Terms for faster Mantra Recovery and Quickfire. The skills are Mantra of Solace, Mantra of Potence, Purging Flames, Mantra of Flame that can be switched for other utilities like Stand Your Ground or Wall of Reflection, and the elite is fill my wrath. And that is pretty much it for the build. Keep in mind that in group content your only purpose is to have 100% quickness uptime. You do not need to be at the top of the DPS table. Now let's take a look at the rotation. We start directly using a charge of heal mantra and quickness mantra with fill my wrath. But use them only after the boss was hit as in many encounters the buffs are reset if they are precast before the fight. Then Purging Flames, 3 charges of Mantra of Flame and recharge it during mechanics or use 2 charges and reuse it when the charge resets. Zealot's Flame or Zealot's Fire twice if Radiant Fire procced, Symbol of Vengeance and Enter Tome of Justice. Here you should start with Chapter 2, then Chapter 4, Chapter 5 and Chapter 2 again, then repeat the full rotation. Very important to note in the rotation is that you want to use heal mantra every time a charge resets. As for quickness mantra, you should have one charge so you do not have to reload it during the fight. You should also use fill my wrath off cooldown. And that is pretty much it for the rotation. Use tom of resolve or tom of courage skills depending on the encounter as they are very useful for group support. Impressive combination. Guide the arrows, my claw. Knowledge is power. Dodge this! I feel good.
and we are at the point of fashion gameplay now. Let's start with the armor. The headpiece is hidden, mist shard shoulders, ice river chest, running slayer gloves, mist ward pants, and elegy boots. The weapons are first fang with favor of the colossus for the main set and lane line scepter for the secondary set. The back item is dynamic tempered spinal blades. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.